restarting the video and we continue. Okay, so that was cash, that was that story. Now let's talk about the experience. So, the buyer doesn't buy the product. The buyer doesn't buy the thing. The buyer buys mostly on emotion, as we know, and the buyer wants to buy a certain experience. Sometimes they just wanna be able to say, I sat on the front row watching the game. Sometimes they just wanna say, I was the very first one to ever own a, whatever it is. Sometimes they wanna say, I just, I'm getting my family safely from place to place with this vehicle. They want an experience. And there's one example, actually Dwayne was the one that shared it earlier. Dwayne was telling me a couple weeks ago of how there was a music teacher, music teacher I believe, yes, that was selling organs. So he had the organ in the store and sometimes he'd actually sit in the store and be playing on the organ. And these families, if they kind of showed a little instrument, interest in the instrument, they practiced that one a few times, interest in the instrument, he would notice that they had kids as well and he would make an offer. This was the offer. He said, I will put this organ into your house for a week. And I will come one day during that week, uh, well, during dinner. I'll come during dinner and I will play the organ. And I will also give one free lesson to your kid. And they're like, oh, okay. So the, the one's willing to try it. Organ shows up at the house. He comes one evening. During dinner, he's playing music. After dinner, he gives a lesson to the child. And then he leaves the organ there for one week. He sold, I think you said like 97%, 95%, something like that, of the organs that were placed like that because he gave them that experience. While they're eating their food, there's this wonderful music from a professional. Their child gets a lesson and gets the chance to play on the instrument. It's the experience of having that in their home and it was becoming the, the thing and they were becoming affordable and so a lot of them sold because he got them sold on the experience. Here's where you see it, M-O-B-S. Get it to the market. The opinion matters. You've got to know that your product is more valuable than its price. For heaven's sake, make sure you feel and know that all through you as you share it with the people that your prospects. Blemishes, talk about them. Talk about the negative space. Stories to connect. You'll probably always remember my story of my neighborhood kid named Cash. How could you forget that? You're dealing with Cash all the time. There he is, Cash. What a great story. Now I'm going to talk about one other person who sells and finds that what she's selling. I, I spoke a couple weeks ago with this person who she started selling lipstick and such. And she's a teacher and then she was doing this, you know, in the evenings and such. And she quickly realized she was making a lot more money selling these items than she was as a teeter. And she, teacher, teeter. <laughs> she quit being a teacher and sold those items. Don't wait. I'm, I'm kind of getting to the close on all of this. Don't wait. Get the work done, invest. You gotta set the date to sell your ship. Set the date, then start building the ship, getting their crew, getting the shipment, tell all interested parties when the ship will sell. And then if that day, the launch day, it's storming and everyone's like, don't sell, it's a terrible time to sell, you still sell your ship so that your shipment can sell. Because ships are not designed to stay in the harbor until it's a sunny, perfect day. Ships are designed to go out and make the delivery. Make it happen. Have enough focus to be able to get it done. Go to work. I'm gonna put up here my, uh, another one of my favorite quotes. Keep on keeping on. In order to master your craft, in order to be able to finish the, everything, to close, you've got to keep going. And I put up here a picture of a fire hydrant because the fire hydrant has these big bolts that are bolted down, which is great. It keeps the water back, right? They know that it's gotta have a certain amount of pressure. It's called torque to keep it closed. Well, they, you and I also know, and they know, that you cannot open it. You can't turn that bolt until you put as much or more pressure as what you could. You could put less pressure on and be putting it all day long and you're never gonna turn the bolt. You never will. You've got to come at it at a different angle and maybe hold, instead of close up here on the wrench, hold far away so you have more leverage. You got to get the leverage and you got to get more force, enough force. And then once, you, once you've put enough pressure 
to loosen the bolt. It's easy. Keep on keeping on by finding the right way to get that torque. I love the book Sam I Am by Dr. Seuss. Green Eggs and Ham, sorry, pardon me. It has Sam I Am in it. I love that book. Will you have green eggs and ham? No, I will not. Not in a box, not with a fox, not on a train, not in the rain, right? All these things. And what does Sam I Am do? He keeps offering it. He keeps offering it. He keeps offering it. What about in a house? What about with a mouse? All of these situations that are being offered, offered and offered. I find it one of the most inspirational salesmanship. I think that is, should be required in most salesmanship, in all salesmanship training. I'm mentioning it now. Just got it here in Braille, actually. Here it is. I'm getting it from Braille today from the library, actually, for the video people. <laughs> but when I actually give this training, I will have it. I haven't done any quotes. Here's a couple for you. People say that money is not the key to happiness, but I always find, figure if you have enough